I'm Stuart Aiken, I'm the Artistic Director of the Aberdeen International Youth Festival. So we decided that we would do a project with some young people and so we worked with schools, after schools, clubs and nurseries uh, with the idea of getting them to discuss travel, uh, people from uh, across the world and then what Aberdeen means to them and who makes up Aberdeen and that's where became the idea of see the world in Aberdeen because we knew there's lots of different ethnic minority groups uh, as well as Scottish people in Aberdeen and we wanted to celebrate them and, and them being part of the city uh, more. So I'm Jessie and I do the marketing and communications for the Aberdeen International Youth Festival. I think AIYF is always looking to put something on for young people in the city, um, whether it's art in the pop-up gallery or whether it's shows in city centre or extended venues. Um, we've also, we're also running in conjunction with a lot of different groups, like we've got um, Creative Play Days running, we've got Storytelling Festival running, um, and we're always trying to look out to get more things out there for people to do. So the pop-up shop kind of um, came about from an idea on how to get more young people involved in the youth festival. Um, we want to get more young audiences interested in coming along to our shows, but also involved in the arts and involved in the culture that goes on in Aberdeen as well. Well, our biggest new event, apart from the pop-up shop, is our Aberdeen Storytelling Festival and our Aberdeen Mela. So we've got two events, one prior to the festival and then one during the festival. The Aberdeen Mela, again, is about see the world in Aberdeen. So it's got local young people and, and professional musicians from all sorts of ethnic uh, minority groups uh, in the, who live in the city in the northeast. But we've also got some groups and singers and performers coming up from London and Glasgow to take part in our music. Uh, events with music, dance and, and also there's going to be food and crafts and lots of other stalls for people to come and see and that's out at Westburn Park. So that's a biggie. And then the rest of it, well every year we create new shows, though it might be they've got choirs coming or theatre coming or dancers coming, but the shows are always new, the way we put them together. And we've got a couple of new venues out in, uh, well we're trying, we're in the Tivoli for the first time for the festival and then we're out in a new venue in Bankery. So we're always trying new venues as well as new performances and, and new projects. Well, the official dates are Friday the 28th of July to Saturday the 5th of August. But as you see, really the festival's started already because we've got workshops running from this week here in the pop-up shop. Uh, and then we've got the Storytelling Festival, which will be not next weekend, but the weekend afterwards. And then what else have we got? We've got some pre-shows. We've got shows on the Wednesday and the Thursday prior to our official date on the, uh, on the Friday. So, um, yeah, lots going on, but the official date is the 20th of July to the 5th of August.